for those of you that are new to the channel welcome and thanks for dropping in for those of you that are returning welcome back and thanks for your continued support so as always the reading that i'm going to be doing here today is going to be a general tarot spread and what this means is it probably won't resonate with everyone watching you with everyone watching this so in that case please just take what resonates with you and leave aside what doesn't or perhaps you would like a personal reading with me to do so please feel free to connect my email address is going to be listed for you all at the bottom of the video here where the show more section is along with the different types of readings that i offer otherwise guys let's go ahead and take a look at the messages the tarot has coming in for you this week here so these messages relate to matters of the heart romance love Lust, Five of Cups, the Eight of Swords here, Justice, and the Moon card. Okay, with the Five of Cups, this is Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You may be dealing with a water sign, you may also have water in your natal chart, you also have air sign energy here, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again, your romantic interest could be an air sign or, her, or may have air within his or her natal chart. Doesn't have to be the case though, just putting it out there. With the Five of Cups, there is a strong sense of regret, disappointment or something uh, not having worked out the way you intended it the way you intended it to be so this could be your energy or the energies of your romantic interest someone here is regretting something they're either regretting their actions or their lack of they're regretting something that they've said they've done the way they've treated you or mistreated you here they've now see someone here has stuffed up and i feel like they understand it now okay they understand where they went wrong they understand uh that they might have even missed an opportunity with you, okay? Someone here, I feel like, is harboring a lot of regrets when it comes to your connection between you and your special someone. I also get a sense that right now, things between you and this someone are a little bit um, a little bit uncomfortable. You may not necessarily be talking to each other, or if you are talking to each other, it just may be very, um, it's like it's not proper communication. You, just, you guys are just talking without saying a whole uh, heap of stuff here. Someone here is stuck on the past and I feel like it's stuck on something that they've done, okay? This person could have hurt you, they could have betrayed you, maybe this this is someone who's kept, uh, I don't know, uh, they kept uh, making empty promises that they never were able to deliver on, and maybe there was a third party situation because the cloaked figure here, he is fixating on the three of cups here and on the spilled content of these cups, so... I do get a sense that for some of you, it's a sense of what could have been, okay? This person may not necessarily be in your energy right now, or they may not necessarily be in your life. You guys may not necessarily be talking, or things aren't the way as they were, okay? The way that uh, things were in the beginning isn't how things are now. There's definitely something that's changed here. It might have been that this person uh, was talking to their ex behind your back, it might have been that an ex has come back into the picture and further complicated things. Uh, whatever the situation he, someone I feel like didn't respond to the situation in the manner that they should have, okay? And they've let someone down here and they know it. So they're focused on that right now. They're, um, they have a lot of regrets. They should have acted differently in the moment, but you know, the moment's uh, said and done. It's uh, long gone, right? Uh, so they're wishing that they could get something. They're wishing that they could get the moment back and they're wishing that they might have acted differently Okay, approach the situation differently. They are regretful. They are apologetic I feel but with the eight of uh, Swords here, I don't feel like they're doing much about it, which is really uh, strange because um, You know they acknowledge that what they did was wrong or they acknowledge that they've uh, you know acted without respect or self-respect uh, they acknowledge that they've made a mistake that they've screwed up okay they're able to uh, they're able to own that but i don't feel like they're coming forward i don't feel like they're coming forward with an apology they're not coming forward with an explanation or any communication it's like they're trying to it's like they're trying to avoid it maybe they're scared that if they bring you know this uh, topic up they're scared that it's going to make things worse because them i feel like by them keeping silent that's that's worsening things, am I right? I feel like that's only adding fuel to uh, fire here. 
So with the Eight of Wands, they could also, not the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Swords here, sorry. I feel like they could also be playing the victim mentality right now in a sense where uh, whoever this person is, whether it's yourself or your special someone here, I feel like they were the ones to step out of line. Or even if it wasn't necessarily entirely their fault, you know, it still takes two to tango. It takes two to play the game. So in saying that, they're not necessarily owing, maybe they're, you know, they acknowledge that it takes two to play the game, but they're not owing up to, uh, they're not owing up to their mistakes. Or if they are, they're not showing it to you because rather they want to play the victim mentality and they want uh, to have your pity, okay? I also feel like it's a way of them avoiding the situation because if they don't, you know, if they don't come out and apologize uh, that way, they didn't do anything wrong, in their mind at least, you know what I mean? If they don't owe up to the mistakes out loud, it's like, okay, well, I didn't do anything wrong. I don't need to owe up to it because I didn't do anything wrong. This person is playing victim mentality here, okay? So uh, be careful here because I also feel like they have um, they have a way with doing this. And I feel like in the past, somehow they're always able to convince you that it is your fault. If not entirely, then uh, partly, okay? So be careful with this person. Uh, take, take caution in how you proceed with this matter because I feel like they'll they have this tendency to spin it so that it, it is your fault. With Justice card, I definitely feel like things are a little bit imbalanced in, in this situation, especially in this context here. Um, definitely uh, a sense of equilibrium needs restoring here, and um, then, you know, you, there needs to be a justice that's brought, uh, a justice that's, that needs to be brought to this situation here. So they need to make things right. Okay, by way of apologizing, by way of explaining themselves, their actions or lack of, or at least by communicating, because not coming forward with an explanation, an apology, or even any form of a communication is not dealing with the matter. Um, avoiding something is not dealing with it. You know, avoiding something in hopes that it's going to go away, it's not going to make anything worse, because eventually, uh, much like the moon card here, it is going to uh, resurface again, okay? So, and it's going to come back even worse because each time I feel like it's a build-up of all these situations until it's going to lead to, you know, an emotional um, volcanic explosion here on someone's end. So be careful so that you don't avoid it as well. Maybe by you, maybe the fact that, you know, you have... Like if they haven't reached out and if you haven't reached out in some ways, you know, you're allowing them to keep quiet about this. And maybe some of you are just, you know, upset as to uh, what's happened or how everything's unfolded. But I definitely feel like you guys need to communicate about this. With the moon card, uh, there seems to be some sort of uh, uh, confusion here, some sort of mental confusion. Um, and some duality as well, a strong sense of duality. Maybe this person could, uh, maybe this person does suffer from, because you do have the Eight of Swords here and the Moon. They could have, they could suffer from like split personality disorder or multiple personality disorders or uh, bipolar, okay? Um, or they could even have like uh, bipolar emotions, whereas in they're hot and they're cold. So, look, I think you have a lot to deal with here. Uh, but at the end of the day, I definitely feel like this matter needs to be sorted out. There seems to be a lot of confusion, confusion in terms of um, emotions and in terms of uh, mental confusion, which needs to be worked through here, okay? I also get a sense that if this... This type of behavior has uh, kept coming, uh, has kept creeping up and uh, time and time again. And if you don't uh, nip it in the bud, I definitely feel like this person will continue to act the way they do. Because each and every time, you know, they're pushing the boundaries and they want to see just how far, just how rigid, just how rigid or firm those boundaries are, or just um, and how much, you know, how, how far they can push those boundaries out. So they're definitely, I feel like they're testing you here with the moon cards. So. So yeah, take caution in how you proceed with this person because they have a way of playing uh, the victim. They have a way of uh, taking on victim mentality and, uh, and convincing you to believe that it's your fault, or at least partly. Okay guys, and with that being said, that is the spread for the week. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, commenting below. For those of you that do want a reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, take care.